name is Kinsey if you're new here. Today I thought it'd be fun to do a little spring console table styling idea. I have a few friends that always do this. Jenna and Evelyn on YouTube here and I love when they do this. So I thought it'd be fun to make my own little console table styling ideas video for you. It is March, spring is just around the corner. I have so many fun ideas and I've just been playing around and having so much fun styling for the past a few weeks and I just thought, you know, might as well make a video. It is a perfect day to film this video. The sun is shining, the skies are blue, and I'm just in such a great mood. I cannot wait to get to decorating, to add some floral, springy touches to my home. So let's get into it. Here is the sideboard I'll be styling today. This piece was gifted from Castlery. I will have it linked down below as well as all the decor you see me styling with in this video. For the first styling idea, I'm gonna add this large brown vase from McGee & Co. And I put some hydrangea stems from Hobby Lobby inside. I'm using four stems total and I'm spreading them out so they make a big statement and fill up this wall. I think these flowers are perfect for spring and I love how half of them are bloomed and some of them still have buds. These flowers in this vase are so pretty to me. I just love this arrangement for this season. Next here, I'm stacking some coffee table books and also adding this groovy looking candle holder with an LED battery powered candle on top. I'm going to stack even more books next to this other stack of books to fill in this extra space. And then next to that, I'm adding this modern lamp with a beige linen shade from World Market. I love the unique shape of this lamp. Next to it, I'm putting in a little flower arrangement from Timu that I stuck in this grid pattern planter from Target. And to finish off the decor, I'm adding in a wooden candle holder to match the brown vase on this stack of books. On the other stack, I'm adding my fluted marble bowl with some frosted glass beads inside that are from Hobby Lobby, but are a great dupe for the Pottery Barn beads. And that is the final look for this first sideboard styling idea. getting questions on my makeup and skincare routine and I know I don't normally show too much of that sort of content on here but there is something that I've been using recently that has changed the game for my skin and I just have to share it with you this is my new holy grail oh my gosh my face has never felt more healthy this thing is called the face pro by blue mean I've already been using this on one side of my face for the past five minutes and if you look closely you can already tell a difference in the puffiness on one side and it just looks way more lifted there's different light settings to target different different areas. It uses microcurrent to tone, thin, tighten, decrease puffiness, improve product penetration, tones the jawline, and reduces double chin. I genuinely have noticed such a difference in my skin. It feels so much softer, which I wasn't really expecting. Um, that was the first thing I noticed that was different. I was like, wow, my skin really feels so soft. And then the next day I woke up and I was like, you know what? I don't have any breakouts. I don't have one pimple. And then I did it again. And the next day I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, like my dark spots are going away. I have seen such a difference in the texture of my skin, in my double chin, in my jawline, and just like the bounciness of my skin. And it's so, so soft. While yes, this portion is sponsored by Blooming, you guys know I would never recommend something I don't actually love and believe in. And this is one of those things that I truly feel just blessed that this has come into my life because it has not only changed my face, but my confidence. It is important to feel best in your own skin and even more important to take care of yourself and your skin. So Blue Mean has decided to gift my subscribers $70 off the first 100 people that click the link in the description. You guys, this offer is insane. It is normally $150, but with the link in the description, you get $70 off plus a free ebook with different face tightening secrets and whatnot, but it's only for the first 100 people and every few weeks Blue Mean activates it's the link. It always sells out. So definitely try to jump on it as fast as you can. And don't worry if you don't see results, there's no need to pay. The link to shop is in the description. If you end up getting your hands on one, I would love to hear how much you love it after a few weeks. Good luck, everyone. Mm -hmm. 
Moving on to the next styling idea, now I'm using this wicker lamp from World Market. I put this pleated shade on it and I tried to cut the middle part of the shade so it would fit lower on the lamp base, but I ended up totally screwing it up. So that is why it's a little wobbly here, but don't worry, Nick came in and saved the day by fixing it. I am stacking these two books next to the lamp and then putting this frosted glass candle holder with a candle in it to act as a bookend on the other side. To balance out the height on the other side of this table, I'm adding in this picture of a watercolored landscape and layering that over the mirror. Then I'm stacking some books in front of that and putting this neutral Studio McGee vase on top. And then I'm adding in some white baby's breath stems I got from Amazon. And I just tore off a little part of the stem and put it on the book next to it so it looks a little bit more realistic, almost like the petals are falling off from the wind. I'm adding in a little candle holder with another LED light up candlestick next to that. And then to finish off the style, I'm stacking two more books in the middle and adding a wooden knot to add some warmth on the top of the books and that is it for this style Moving on to the third decorating idea, this one is a lot more minimal and modern. For this side, I'm adding my modern circle lamp and next to it, I'm adding a black ceramic candle holder with a beige candle on top. On the other side, I'm stacking some books and adding my brown wavy vase with some beige baby's breath inside to bring that color over to this side. Next to it, I'm adding the same funky candle holder with the fluted candlestick. And in the middle of the table, I'm putting this beige fluted marble bowl and sticking some hydrangea flowers inside to fill it up. And that is it for this one. I know it is very minimal and it's definitely more on the modern organic style, but I wanted to show you multiple different ideas that included different styles as well so you can get the most inspiration for your space. For the next few, let's change out this rounded arch mirror for a big artwork piece. I asked in my last video which you guys prefer paired with this sideboard and it was pretty split down the middle with the mirror and the art, so that tells me both are great options, so I wanted to include both in this video. The art in the frame are from Decenio, which I actually have a really good code for where you can get 45% off, but it's only lasting for one more week, so if you're interested, jump on it while the code is still active. But for this style, I wanted to keep this one simple as well. This one is a little less modern and a little more transitional so I added some similar vases to both sides with different flower arrangements that coordinate with each other stack some books in the middle and called it good for this style I know this design is super simple as well but that just goes to show that you don't need a ton of decor to style your home sometimes less is more Okay, this next one is probably my favorite style. I'm stacking two of the same size and color books here, so it kind of acts more as a pedestal. Then I'm putting this charcoal vintage vase that's actually from Timu on top, and I just put a bunch of florals also from Timu inside. Behind it, I'm adding this vintage picture frame of some flowers, and in front of that, I'm placing this scalloped marble trivet. On the other side, I'm adding that same large brown vase with the hydrangea stems in it and a candle holder right next to it. Then I'm stacking some woven boxes next to that to add some texture and to finish off this console table look. I really like this one because I think the woven boxes add some nice contrast, texture, and color. This one feels a little more vintage while still giving modern here and there. For 
For the next one, I'm adding this white vase, but I wanted the vase to pop a little more, so I switched out the top book for this brown book. I also added some pink peonies to the vase to give it even more color for spring. Next, I'm adding the black candle holder with the beige candle on top, and in the middle of the big picture, I'm layering this small picture of these pears. This print is also from Decenio, and it is so dainty and pretty and just perfect for spring with all the colors. By the big vase, I'm adding two books and stacking another little flower arrangement on the other side to anchor it, kind of like a bookend. I'm playing around with the position of the books, but ultimately I like the clean stacked look of them. The middle in front of the picture felt like it needed a little something more, so I'm adding this marble tic-tac-toe set and that is it for this look. Moving on to the last sideboard styling idea, I'm moving this book and peony arrangement in the middle area and adding the wicker lamp on the other side. I'm keeping the large hydrangea vase on this side and pairing a little wooden riser with a candle on top right next to the vase. In the middle, I'm adding my fluted marble bowl and it looks great like this, but I actually ended up layering in another picture and I think that was the perfect piece to complete this look. That's it for today. If you're still watching, thank you so much for being here. If you are new, I'd love to have you stick around and subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up too. It really helps out my channel. And also leave a comment down below. Let me know your favorite console table styling idea. I would love to know. And also let me know if you have started decorating for spring yet, if you've even shopped for your spring decor, if you are shopping this year, or if you're just gonna use some decor that you already have around your house, let me know. Please give this video a thumbs up too. It really helps me out and it helps YouTube push this video out, which is one of the best ways to support me. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. We'll see you in a few days and anyone. Bye guys.